How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a talkback mic in Reaper. Now, although we're doing this in Reaper, everything we're doing here applies to any DAW, as you'll see. So don't think this trick is just for Reaper. Now, you're probably thinking the best way to set up a talkback mic so you in the control room can talk to the talent in the vocal booth or the live room is by setting up a new track like this setting its input to an unused mic channel, like channel two, my interface has two inputs. Turn on monitoring over here so we can monitor the input and change this to instead of recording the input to disable recording and input monitoring only. This way we can go into recording this track and still hear level for talkback, but we can go into record on this track over here, and it's not going to record audio or the mic input from this track. So it can be easily used as a talkback mic. And because Reaper is so flexible, we can mute this track any different way. Hitting the command for it, Option M. We can set up a MIDI keyboard where any key can trigger it. We could use a custom console or a custom control surface or any device that Reaper can see. So it's very flexible for turning the talkback mic on and off. But to me, this is not the preferred way of doing it. I figured out a better way. One way to do it is buying an expensive control surface that has a talkback function. But again, that's a bit expensive. You could also buy a monitor controller that has talkback functionality also, but that's also expensive. So this is a very cheap way of doing it, and it frees up a few other things as you'll see. Another reason I don't like this way through software is if we close this project, we're not gonna hear the talkback anymore. Or if we switch projects, or if we go to another application like iTunes and wanna to listen to some music, our talkback's not gonna work. We need to have Reaper open, or your preferred DAW open at all times. Another problem with this method is when you're using a very small interface, like this one. It only has two inputs, input one and two, and it looks like this. So if you're using an interface that only has two inputs, like this one, you're gonna waste one input just for a talkback mic. What if you wanna record stereo, like stereo percussion, overhead mics, a vocal and acoustic guitar at the same time, stereo orchestra? You're gonna lose one of your inputs just for a talkback mic. But the bigger problem I have with this especially with a small interface, is that the talkback mic is gonna come through your main speakers. So if you're blasting it to listen back, and you turn on the talkback mic, it's gonna feed back into your speakers, because the talkback mic is probably in front of you, which is pretty close to the speakers. So with the way I figured out, it eliminates all that. It frees up a mic input, and the talkback mic is just going to the headphones. It's not going to the main speakers. And it's also not software-based. But you do have to spend a little bit of money, but nowhere near as expensive as an audio interface that has talkback functionality, a control surface, or a monitor controller that also has a talkback. Those are pretty expensive. So let's say we're using this interface. It has two inputs and two outputs, also a headphone output. But the headphone output is the same as our main outputs. So you don't have a separate headphone mix, but that's okay. Let's move this over. What you want to buy is a small mixer, something like this. This is the cheapest one I could find on Sweetwater. I think it's like $39. And this is going to be set up just for our talkback mic. You plug the mic right in here. Then you take the output. With this interface, it would be a headphone outputs right here. Buy a Y cable like this one here and plug this wire into the headphones and these two wires into one of these line inputs either two and three or four and five. Then you can control that level right over here, either two and three or four and five. I'd probably use four and five because it's closest to your hand. Then you have the artist plug in the headphones right over here. So the sound is coming out of your DAW over here, going to this mixer. Here's the level we could adjust. And if you have a headphone box, we could use these outputs instead. Main output left and right, and that can go to a headphone box. Or like I said, you could plug it in right here. Then just plug the talkback mic 
right here, adjust the level, and you have a talkback. Now this mixer doesn't have a mute button, but you can turn the level on and off right here. Turn it off, and they're not hearing your voice, or they're not hearing talkback. Turn it back on, and they can. But the whole time, they're hearing the music, coming out of two outputs here, going into here, going out to the headphones, either here or here. But it's not software-based, so you can quit Reaper, switch projects, open a different DAW, and all the time, they can still hear you. And the best part, you don't waste a mic input. So in this interface, we still have two mic inputs we can use for stereo recording, or recording two separate tracks, like a vocal and acoustic guitar. So you can record two things at the same time, or stereo, while still having talkback functionality. And if you have a bigger interface, like this one, which has more outputs, there's four, you can send three and four to this mixer, and you can have a separate headphone mix that you can create in Reaper or your DAW and set up a whole separate mix just for the headphones. But we still have the ability, even with the separate headphone mix, of having a talkback mic. And if you want to use a lot of separate headphone mixes, you can just get a bigger mixer and still create the same thing. Always having the ability to have your talkback added to those headphones without going through software and without wasting a mic input. And without having your talkback mic running through your main speakers. So, anyway, that's how I set up a talkback mic in Reaper. But again, this will work in any DAW. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.